So today I'm going to be working on my mantle and I have a picture for inspiration from Pinterest. I'm going to insert that here. This is the look that I'm going for and I've had to show my basement. I picked things up around from my house for the most part, but I did thrift a couple of things to add to get this look. Um, I'm also going to have to probably do a couple of DIYs to get this look, um, but I'm going to take you along with me. We're going to get this mantle pulled together and see what I can come up with and how close I can get to matching that inspiration picture. So here it is. <laughs> right here. Right here is all I have to work with right now at the second. But um, I'm going to do a little bit of work and see if I can come up with anything else that I can add to this and then I will check back in in just a second. Now remember in that picture was a, um, it looked like an architectural element that was chippy and I need something that's going to fit that. Uh, so I thought, okay, I have a couple of boxes that I could possibly use. Let me spin you around and show you one that I'm considering. That one right there. I am considering that box right there that the Bibles are on. That's a possibility. But there's also one more that I could possibly use. So let me take you to that one. That one is in the entryway. That one right there. I could possibly use that. I think I like that one more, um, but I'm not ready to say that I'm using the box yet. Actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let me show you what I did in the bathroom because I could possibly do something like this. Hold on. Let me spin you around. You see those nesting boxes? I painted them, put them up there like that. So I have a smaller set of nesting boxes I could possibly use. So maybe, maybe that'll work. Maybe, we'll see. Decisions, decisions, right? So I'm gonna head to the basement, see if there's anything in my basement that I could possibly use. Watch, Maggie's gonna come along. Here, her pitter patter feet. You coming? Let's go. She always waits for me to go down first because she knows mommy doesn't have the greatest of balance. I'm Calamity Jane as Art calls me. Okay, so where do I start? Let's see, do I have all the lights on? No. Let me see, I'm taking you along with me. Let's see if I have anything. I swear I used to have more architectural stuff. I don't know what happened to it. I'm not seeing anything over in my corner there. Hold on, let these lights warm up a minute. I really want that chippy look. So whatever I use, I think I'm gonna end up having to paint it anyway. So I don't think any of this down here is gonna work, but I do need candle candlesticks. So I think I'm gonna take the candlesticks back that I had on my yard sale table. I think I'm gonna be taking them back, guys. I think I'm gonna be reclaiming them. Now I am going to need a picture as well. So I'm thinking about bringing my mirrors back up. Sorry, I'm swinging you around. You're just, I'm taking you on a journey with me. This is how I, I decorate in real life. So I figured I'd share the realness. All right, you know what? Maybe I have something else that might work. I have a few options. If I'm being honest, I have a few. <laughs> Do I have a few options? I do, I do, I do. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. So, I could use that. It's not necessarily an architectural element though. It's not exactly what, I, I don't like that. I don't like that it's, ugh. Nope, nope, that's not gonna work for me. So let's look around. Now I will, I am thinking about using those, but I wanna make them look like stone. I want to make them look stonish. So what I might have to do is actually wait 
and finish this later, this like look later, what I could do is actually get it up there and then take them back down because there's stone, uh, stone spray paint. And I think I'm going to use some stone spray paint and paint them all to look like stone candlesticks. And then I am going to pull these out. I think I'm going to use these. Guys, I think I'm going to be pulling some of this stuff out of my yard sale, selling kind of stuff and keeping it because I can use it. Art told me that was going to happen, but I didn't, I didn't necessarily listen. Turn on the other light. We're going to walk around this way. And, oh, so I have, I picked this up for $1.99. It's a terracotta pot. And look, it has those lines in it. And I just painted it white. I'm going to put a plant in it. I'm going to use this on the mantle. Look, this. So, last year I did a video because I had already used this pumpkin candle up. And I just put, I burnt, um, I, not burnt. I melted all the wax in all of my leftover candles and poured them in here and created this candle. And then what I did was I didn't put a wick in it. I just sat it on top of a, a warmer so that the it acted like a large wax melt is basically what it was. So I'm actually going to do that again to pour all of the wax out. And then I'm going to paint this. And then this is going to be that planter that's in my inspiration picture. So that I already know. It can, it's got to go upstairs because I've got to, excuse me, I've got to melt everything. But this is something I'm going to use. So that's one, but I still need an architectural piece. Okay, so I pulled up some architectural pieces, the bigger ones that I can use as my backdrop, my foundation pieces. I pulled them up from the basement. We're going to play with those while my candle melts on the stove. And I will have to keep an eye on that. My hair is a mess in the back. I'm not doing it today, so it is what it is. <laughs> so I went ahead and pulled a couple of things extra to see if I'm gonna use. I pulled the little, um, I don't, figurines, I don't know, bust, they're bust. I, they were on my yard sale table, the candle holders on my yard sale table, and the topiary balls also on my yard sale table. I pulled them all up off of that yard sale table and brought them up here to see if I'm going to use them. You're just going to have to overlook the mess. It's real life. So I have this piece here. It's a chalkboard and I don't know that I'm going to use that. If I do, I'm going to have to repaint the chalkboard and take the command hook off because I had a wreath hanging there that was in the basement. So I'm going to have to rework that if I end up using it. My old trusty mirrors, I thought that could also work as a layering effect. That was the architectural piece that we had up there that we took down. It's just too small for the scale. What I want is to put that up above the fireplace. And I'm gonna try that first before I try any of this, and we'll go from there. Tell me you do this too, and I hope Bart doesn't see this part. wasn't even. I actually like how that looks. I like it. It's, to me, it's slightly, slightly off level. So I need to fix that, but I do like that. Now I can actually start decorating it. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Just the same.
inside of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh you make me strong Pretty little thing Alright, so I'm just taking yeah. some old English furniture polish, dipping a brush in it, dabbing it off, and then going along the edges and anywhere that I want to add a little bit of dimension and texture. I rubbed it on here and then rubbed it off with a sponge. I'm going very lightly around the edges right now, and then that'll be done. I've rough, this is going to be my architectural piece. My dad made this. So I'm gonna use it turned over like that. I did a dry brush technique on it. Um, so that's gonna, I just, it doesn't look as good on the inside, <laughs> but the outside is the look I'm going for. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that upstairs. And then I took this candle stick apart. That was turned up on here. It's screwed in. So I took it apart because it was like a, a tea light holder. I took it apart, turned that top into a cloche, and then I just added this little wood piece so that I could stick a candle in it. And now I have a taper candle holder in that. And then I'm gonna detail this and this, and then that'll be that. And I can start putting the fireplace together. I also like to make my own wreaths. I don't have many wreaths, so I'm making my own. And all I'm doing is taking like small bits like this and some floral wire and I'm just going to bunch them together and tie them together to get the look that I want. Let me see if I can show you how I do that. have one more candle holder upstairs so that's that's how that works super easy Maggie's looking at me like mom please sit down <laughs> all right I've been at it all day all day so I'm gonna go ahead and spin you around let you see now what I have with the projects completed to work with and I think I have enough to get started and we'll see how far I get so I finished all three of the candle holders. Love how that looks. I love how they turned out. I was going for a chippy look and it just kind of evolved into this. I, I don't know. And then I made my wreaths. So I got three of those. I didn't paint the inside of the candle holder, but I painted the outside. I'm happy with it. And I'm going to be fine the way it is. Nobody's gonna see the inside because we're gonna put something in it. And then I still have, oh, this is how this one turned out. So look at how cute that turned out. I just love it. The more that you put the English, whatever that, what did I say that was? He's, oh, Eng, old English, anyway, the furniture polish. <laughs> the more you put that on and let it dry, the darker that will get. You can also just go back over it with some antiquing wax. I used antiquing wax for these. I started with the old English and then I was like, nah, that's not gonna, it's gonna take me forever. So I just went to the antiquing wax, the Waverly antiquing wax and that's how that looked. I left that one woodsy and then I did a little technique on the tops of that to make it look a little bit different. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right, wish me luck. All right, so. Clean off so I'm gonna glasses. start with this and I think I'm gonna start with it on this side. I already have a problem. It's too wide. It's too wide. I am gonna have to look for something and I'm glad that I refinished it though. I like the way that it looks. But could I use it this way? Actually I can use it this way. I wonder if I put it in here like that. I need to have levels. That was the whole point. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do, don't mind the hair, is I'm gonna start I'm gonna with the candlesticks. One, 
over here. And then I'm gonna put the other two on that end. All right, and I'll tweak as I go. And then I think I'm gonna start putting in my books. I'm going to put some books on this end and that end for symmetry. All right, I think I'm gonna use these two smaller ones over here. And I'm going to put this up here. All right. And again, I'll tweak and tweak it once I get everything in place. I'm going to use one of my little figurines over here as well. Bust, I mean. All right. And then I'm going to take the two larger books and put the smaller planter here. All right. And then in the middle, I think I'm going to use my bigger vessels, the pitcher and the white vase that I got. I have this textured one, and I think I'm going to put it over here. I think I'm going to put this white vase right here. It needs something else. So I think, I think I'm going to use that cloche that I made and and I want to use this because I think it's so stinking cute so let me see what do you guys think of this what do you think well that didn't go well did it um I actually like it I like how this looks if it would stay if it'll stay I kind of like how that looks, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think, I, th I think it's too much. I think it would be like, I think it would be too much. So I think what I'm going to do, so I don't break that. I have an idea. I have a wooden base. This is just, this was the lid that went on this candle. I have this, I'm gonna use it as a base. I have these little teeny terracotta pots. I'm gonna tilt one on its side like that. And then I'm gonna put it right in the center there. And then I'm gonna put this cloche on top. I swear. You guys, this is how decorating actually goes for me. I'm not editing much of this. And look at my hair. What is up with that? All right. There we go. I'll show you a close up when I'm all done. Of course, like with everything, I'm going to have to let this sit for a few days and sink in to know whether I really like it or not. And I definitely know without a shadow of a doubt that I will tweak and change it because that's just who I am. Um, there's a couple of other things that I still wanted to add. I'm gonna need to put the candles on, the little wreaths, and I have the picture that I wanna use. Um, so let me grab I'm gonna those things. I'm gonna put this picture of my mom somewhere. I'm not sure. It would be nice if I could actually put, I need to, go on eBay and find a couple more flower frogs. They're not that expensive on eBay. You can find them fairly, fairly cheap. Um, maybe $10 or so, but the shipping's gonna, the shipping will get you though. I don't like that there. So I'm playing to see where I want it. I don't think, I mean, that's not too bad, but it would just be nice maybe without the pictures just to have the flower frog, to be honest. I think I might do that. It would be nice to scatter some flower frogs around here. Um, so I may do that. I may be on the hunt. I wanna add a couple more green books and I'm gonna look for more flower frogs. I like the metal ones. They're harder to find, they're much more expensive. 
Um, but that's what I want. So I'm gonna look for those and buy maybe two more. So it gives me three and then maybe I'll use that. I cannot use the topiary balls because they are too big for any of these with this picture hanging as low as it is, but I like it low. I don't want it all the way up. We don't have too tall a ceiling, so there's really no point to have it like that. So maybe I'll do this and make these kind of like off-centered a little bit. But I have too much white going on here. So let me see if I do this. Let's see if I break up the white a little bit by doing this. Okay, do that. That makes a little bit more sense to me. All right. Maybe if I nestle him in there. And then what I want to do, like I said, if I if I can score more books, I can continue to elevate the elements that I have on here. So I can put books in the center, elevate it a little bit in the center. If I did that, I may raise the picture or the the this up, which Art may want it up more anyway. And if he did, that would give me more room for this. So this is going to be, you're not gonna see the finished look today. There's just, it's not gonna happen today. But in any case, all right. So let me play a little bit more. I'm gonna add the greenery. I need to search for some greenery that I wanna use. Let me add the greenery and then I'll come back and we'll do a close up. All right, I have my greenery in now and I, lo I love, I love how this is turning out. It's not exactly like the Pinterest picture, but hopefully you can understand or get inspiration on how you can take an inspiration picture from Pinterest and all these ideas and make it your own. Have it evolve the way that it's gonna evolve. Just play, you know, and you'll come up with something that you love just as much as your inspiration picture. And I am loving this. And this matches something that's in that picture. Um, the green actually matches something that's in that picture. In the inspiration picture, there were gold elements. Like uh, it looked like there was like a gold mirror or a gold frame that was anchoring it instead of something like this. So I, you know, there are some things that are different, but yet there are some things that are the same. And I've been, a, and I was able to kind of make it my own and I'm loving this. So I'm gonna add the candles and the wreaths and then that may be it for now. I think this may be one of my favorite mantles yet. Okay, I'm gonna spin you around. think in the comments below. I'm loving it. I actually used my terracotta pot as a riser, turned it upside down, and I think it works perfectly for my little bust. And I put my little candle holder. It's not a candle holder, but you know, it is what it is. It, it kind of ties and pulls that copper over, so I thought it looked nice. I'm going to stop tweaking for today, 
and I'm gonna go thrifting hopefully later this week to see if I can get any more books. And that will be that. That's the only thing I think this needs is flower frogs and books. So I did stop the other day after work and found some green books to add to the mantle. Look at these beautiful shades of green. They're going to go perfectly.